to another week here on the den. It's Greg here at Halcon 2017. Watch out, Greg. You better not be running off. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to go to the Goblin King, though. But there's magic. Dance magic. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're back here at Halcon again this year. Um, things are just starting up. We just got in, out of the Thunder Flying. Uh, as you can see, it's Vendor Fair. We're going to show you some of our favorite vendors as the day goes on and talk to people and do all that fun shit. So you'll be seeing lots of that. And lots of, lots and lots of cubs. Cute cubs around. Yeah, lots of chunky nerdy. Cute bearded guys. Yeah, our type. Yes. So, let's do this. All right. And we have our first Overwatch cosplay of the day. <laughs> Road off. Welcome to the con. I'll do that one. Box number one. Matrix. Oh, they got handles on them this year. They do. Even better. Box number one. Stick around. See what you get. <laughs> well, you know you're going to take oh. the. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Gryffindor. Random that, strawberry that's bag. Actually, that's actually pretty solid. I'm not gonna, bag? I'm not going to whine about that one. Box number one. What's your number two going to be? Um. Let's do the one that was. Yeah. I'm just gonna pe keep picking all the same one. No. <laughs> Number two. Oh. oh That's the first leaf you I see. There you go. <laughs> Doctor Who socks. Doctor and this time it's. And Doctor Who could toque. And you've got hateful and dizzy something. You're gonna make this difficult on me. Number two. Because <laughs> one thing I said is I wanted something Doctor Who. Well, there you go. That one down there. At the bottom, bottom? Yeah. yeah. Just make it difficult for her. <laughs> <laughs> there, you made that look easy. <laughs> no problems. <laughs> you got a squirtle. Squirtle, Sons of Anarchy. Doctor Who socks. I'm sorry. <laughs> More Doctor Who. So there's something Doctor Who in every pack. Yeah. Ooh, now I'm really torn. Um, you're just gonna take the three plushies, aren't you? <laughs> well, no, I. Yeah. <laughs> You did get three different plushies. I did. I got one, a different plushie in each one. If you want to switch like a hot for a hot or a plushie for a plushie, you can. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Aww. So we're getting our photos did. We're in a photo booth right now. I'm gonna take my hat off. You just, no, you keep your hat on. It's hat on. on. No, you keep that on. Look how cute he is. All right, so I guess we touch screen. Oh, let's. We're gonna do black and white. We're doing black and white. Black and gray. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I come to realize as a kid I was terrible at this and I'm no better now as an adult. Oh. I lost Greg for a moment. Greg, you know what's gonna happen when we get home. I much, I much, I much rather be captured by the Goblin King. You're gonna hear all about the Sparkle Vamps. No, 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 no. Send me to the Goblin King. Goblin King. Goblin King? No, no, Sparkle Vamps. No. You have to deal with Bella's indecis indecisiveness. What if, what if I do a cute pouty cubby pouch? This. We'll be read even more Twilight. <laughs> more Twilight. Much like if you watched our video from last year, Dalcon, much like last year. Um, again, this is still in the it's still filling up, but this is the board, hi, Daddy. board game section of the room. Why don't you just say hi, Daddy? Hi, Daddy. Don't be mean. Um, 
So anyway, this is where the board games uh, slash RPG shit goes on today. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I, did, I didn't mean RPG shit, but RPG stuff. Yeah. Um, over here. Reality. Yeah. Uh, and then in the back of the room, they have uh, board games that you can borrow out and play with your friends. Um, later in the day, there's going to be board game tournaments over in this section over here. Yeah, they're doing that over here, actually. This is a live stream for our children's hospital. It's doing a live stream. Uh, nice. Um, to raise money and the there's others. cards all ready to go. Pokemon ready to go. Yeah, so we must have, we must have a Pokemon tournament going to happen here. Right. You and you and me in this boat. <laughs> <laughs> that is a convincing argument. All right, you're my slaves now. <laughs> well, um. I, 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 as I said before, please don't recruit me, but I guess we have no choice. First order of business is to fix that hole, because we're currently sinking. Oh! Well, I'm going to use my craftsmanship, and uh, I'm going to just use old Jocelyn here to plug up that hole for a little bit. Are you going to need two successes? Nine! Is that craftsmanship? Yeah. You succeed! <laughs> <laughs> do it yeah and uh i'm gonna use my fitness because little known fact halflings are actually very dense so i'm just gonna sit on that board and oh you're not gonna believe it natural 20 <laughs> <laughs> with the shark to not kill you. <laughs> Listen, this is my boat now because I landed on it. That's how shark transactions work. <laughs> so I'm going to need you to get off my boat or I'm going to do shark stuff. Uh, Eat it. I'm going to do a classic put the board between the shark's mouth so he can't eat you trick. <laughs> Alright, so, so 18. craftsmanship. 18! That's good enough! He's gonna start chomping. Go ahead, chomp! <laughs> with oh, it. It. with one finger shark can't chomp. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to have succeeded, however, the shark is getting angry. With its mouth open, I'm just gonna run right in there and just start punching. <laughs> Eleven? Not good enough. Alright, well, I'm charging in there. Hold it up and get it. Eleven. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Alright, Jackson, hold that thing open. I'm going in. Pass! I'm stuck in his teeth. Oh. I'm stuck in his teeth. It really hurts, Jackson. And my face is kind of pressed up against the floor. Alright, I'm just gonna use my battle axe and split him down the middle. You, need, you, one, you need one more success uh, to beat the shark. Now, I need you to know, 
I might pick you up for shit again. It's part of the job. I might lose you, but you always find your way back. Oh, this gets back right. to you, Jackie. I love you as much as a man can love some wood. <laughs> Jackie! God, I wish I could quit you. <laughs> Jocelyn disperses. Oh, my fuck. I'll always be with you, Jackie. <laughs> it was like, well, it's like, I'm a gentleman in my class, Madison. In elementary school, he finished the math book two months ago. And the teachers were like, well, you get a free period in elementary school. And I was the. Ready. <laughs> wow. Do you guys know we're going to be for Halloween yet? No idea. Really. Um, so, we're getting to the point in the day where we're probably at our busiest. Um, there's people all over the place now. It's hard to get around the vendor fair. Um, the big QAs are starting. Um, the big one being at 315, which is... A part of our childhood, which is the whole Degrassi crew is doing a QA at 3.15. Right in front of our Canadian childhood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Who's doing the QA right now? I don't know. It's the guy from Daredevil. Foggy from Daredevil. Yeah. Is the, is the doing a QA right now that we didn't get into. But. Yeah. So we're just kind of like lazing around. Yeah. Trying to the vendor fair. Trying to see if I can There's another no face. Um, so what would you say are the repeat costumes this year? Definitely Diva. Yeah, Diva from There's Overwatch a lot of Divas. has been huge. A um, bunch of Roadhogs, a couple of Junk Rats, a um, May. So, definitely not as many Harley Quinns this year. Which is surprising because there's a Diva right behind you just as we speak. Yeah, there we have another. Yep, there's another Diva. Not so much Steven Universe. I was hoping for more. Mm. I've seen uh, Lapis Lazuli and an Amethyst so far. Yeah, I've only seen Lapis and Steven so far. Two Lapises. Lapi? Have a Mighty Ducks question for you? Sure. When you did that, you were obviously kids, but you also worked on that with your brother, I believe? That's true. So, what was it like working with your brother, and have you worked with him any other time since then, or is that the only time you guys worked together? Uh, well, it's awesome working with my brother. Um, he's a pretty cool dude, and uh, I'm trying to think if we never, we never did anything else together. I don't think so. I mean, we've done a couple of shorts. He's, he's directing now, so we've done a couple of shorts, and I know we're... Uh, my older brother's actually an editor, so I, we've all been talking for a long time about the three of us doing something together, but uh, uh, I can't think of anything else we would have... I mean, we might have... Um, the we're risque, and we're sometimes difficult to even read about and think about and then have to actually play them. I mean, I know Stacy and... Um, dealt with that. I think one of our biggest ones that we talk about that I wasn't really um, that much a part of at the time was the AIDS episode when they when we aired that. There was a lot to learn and they actually brought um, gentlemen just, in. Uh, AIDS was just yeah. being discovered by the world. It was brand you know, new. It was you know, people were worried stuff. about toilet seats and, and things like this which was so wrong. <coughs> we as actors and as kids had to learn about it and be educated about it on set to even understand uh, and portray. So I think there was a lot of learning that took place for all of us in, in all the different episodes that we, we played. And yeah. I mean, and you remember, this is pre internet. So I mean, you couldn't just yeah. look it up on the internet, as silly as that sounds. Is yeah. that yeah. It did address, I think, I think a lot of people learned a lot of stuff from that show. Yeah, I think that you, it was the first show up until that point. It always had been a TV, you know, television a bit about a parent or an adult stepping in and sort of telling the kid the right thing to do. You know, I just remember that being like different strokes. You know, Mr. Mr. Drummond would walk in and go, "Don't steal," you know. <laughs> so like, where on um, and Degrassi, you know, and a lot of teen television in so many different genres of, of teen television are about them a uh, character making mistakes. And I think Degrassi was the very first where they let a character go through a terrible experience because you don't go to your parents and say, "I'm pregnant when I'm 13," and I, and you lie about uh, doing drugs and you don't want to talk about the fact that you're going through something terrible um, and you pay the consequences and, and that's life. And I think we were the first show to show this, like, the scarier side of it. And I think 
that's what hopefully you guys and a lot of our audience saw for the first time when Degrassi came out. It wasn't pretty. But you it was know? also too, we didn't just like wrap everything up in a bow at the end. You know, a lot of shows, you know, like the after school specials would be like, everyone's like, this, this, I don't smoke weed anymore, like, yeah. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like she, uh, Spike doesn't become unpregnant after that one episode. I mean, it, it doesn't go away. The, I, the issues keep continuing throughout the show, which I think is important. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's really quite something. So, okay grew up like on Degrassi Junior High and you were kind of in the in the public eye and experiencing all those things um, kind of as you were filming them then when you were working as the parental figures and the teacher figures in the next generation were you kind of mentors for the new students that came in or <laughs> did you, oh did you give them any advice? The story. Tell the Aubrey story. <laughs> so Aubrey uh, played Jimmy. Who's great? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so one of the things that we wanted to do early, early on in the Next Generation season one is I wanted to get these kids excited about being on the show. They hadn't been born when the original show was done. And I'm like, guys, you know, I really hope the show does well for you because you're going to get to meet a lot of people. You're going to get to do a lot of publicity and press. And you're going to meet fans, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I just, you know, I want you guys to experience what we experienced with the original series, and I want that same success for the next generation. And Aubrey just kind of looked at me and was like, yeah, whatever, old man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, old man whatever. Yeah, stop, stop living the glory days, Kyle. Like, and I'm like, oh my god, I just got dissed by this punk. And, uh, whatever. And because uh, I felt like I wanted to be a mentor to these kids. And, you know, they were good actors and they were confident. And, and, and we weren't confident back in the, like, when we first started. But these kids were, they had agents and they had parents that were supporting their careers. And, and these were professional actors. And like, they didn't need to be babied. They knew what they were doing already. And, um, and, and I'll tell you one thing Aubrey already knew back then that he wanted to be a hip hop star, like rapping. Because he, he would listen to music all the time on set and he was just focused on his craft and acting was almost kind of like a stepping stone for him to, to build his confidence. But he always knew he was going to be Drake. And well, it's good he didn't amount to anything. <laughs> After making fun of you. No, you know. He's getting there, he's working He's working, he's working hard. He's working hard. <laughs> He keeps wanting to join the Zit Remedy, and I'm like, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I get uh, Kirsty to tell you? So, Greg? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so, what I, are we doing? I, we are in line to get a group Degrassi photo. I am, I didn't think I would be ex excited as I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we it's just like, got out of the Q and A, and yeah. well, you guys were going to see the clips. So. Yeah, yeah, the Q and A was amazing, and it was more like when we walked at the door, it's like shut up and take my money, basically. Yeah. <laughs> As you saw, that was kind of the end of our Halcon adventure for the weekend. Um, Derek kind of hasn't been feeling good all week long, and mm -hmm. a migraine kind of kicked in, and we we kind of disappeared. So that was the end of Halcon. But it was it was a really good time. Um, we picked up a few things, as you can see. <laughs> we, had, we got Espion. We got a Zelda Tuke. We got my Harry Potter bow tie, although you can't really see it. Kind Gryffindales? Of Are you a Gryffindales? I'm name? a Gryffindale stripper. Oh, whoa. There's <laughs> probably kids watching that this oh, time. Oh, darn. Gryffindales. Um, and, yeah, we got a few other things, including a Dalek painting. There was an auction. We did the auction. We bought the thing. That will be going up somewhere. Uh, we met a lot of awesome cosplayers. We met the Degrassi cast, which was kind of surreal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I'm sure Derek will post the photo. Oh, it's already on the video. They've already seen it. At this oh, point. there you go. Even better. Like, it's surreal just because, like, people in the States, you saw from, like, the next, next class onwards. Mm. You didn't see junior high or high. Uh, when... I think it depends on the age. Yeah. A lot of them did see junior high. Yeah. Um, although, I, I, from what I hear overseas... 
junior high was actually more popular than it was in the U.S. Yeah. So they hit some really hard issues, and that is a show that really defined a generation in Canada. So it was like pretty unreal <laughs> to see uh, see them live and be able to talk about some of the things they did did there. So while I go deal with my migraine, which is this thing right here. <laughs> We are signing off for now. Yes, everyone. Well, have yourselves a great week. And as always, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> He's covering me up. And tune into the rest of the boys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>